All right, guys, today we're gonna look at Springfield Prodigy Double Stack. So, new from Springfield, newer from Springfield. We've been getting a lot of good and bad on this gun, so we're gonna do a build series. We're gonna take a look at it, see how it runs out of the box, and let you know how it runs for us. We have a couple different ones to test and go through. These guns were purchased by us. We do have an FFL, so we're paying dealer cost. However, no holds barred purchased by us, no money from Springfield or anything like that. So this gun does come with 20 round mag and a 17 round mag. Uh, this particular gun here, we have taken out already. However, it would get through two or three rounds and then it doesn't chamber, it doesn't feed. It did go back to Springfield, which was very easy. We called them 10 minutes on the phone they sent us shipping, we sent it in, got it back about three weeks later. So we will see how this does at the range once we get it back out to the range. The other thing that's been done is there's been a lot of reports of the Cerakote on the frame rails actually causing problems. So we did take this, racked it by hand about a thousand times, you know, a few hundred times, clean it off, oil it, do it some more. It is noticeably smoother already so we will see if that makes a difference. But just so you guys know, this is the four and a quarter inch model here. So we will let you know how it goes and we'll see you out at the range. guys we're gonna start out with the brand new one never had any rounds through it uh, full disclaimer on this gun to start with we have an FFL we do own a firearm shop in Salem Oregon this one we have paid full dealer price for it wasn't sent to us uh, no guarantees anything so it's out of our pocket at this point um, this one is probably going to a customer and getting built up a little bit later um, so we are shooting, this is kind of out of our trash bucket. We also manufacture ammo. So it's a mix of cast coated, uh, 124 grain, 147 grain, just a little bit that don't pass our inspection before we put them on a shelf. They're still good to shoot for us, but we want to make sure they, they're with us. They're not going out the door where we need to worry about them. They're either too short, too long. Uh, some of them primers ain't seated quite right, something like that. Uh, still suitable for us, just not something, like I said, we want to send out the door. So if we have any issues, I will look at it, let you know if it's something with the ammo or something with the gun. But full 20 round mag, and let's see how it runs out of the box. So right off the bat, feed issue. Uh, guarantee you that's probably a bad round. So let's... Let's try this again. Much better, much better. So let's see how it goes. So we do have one right now, failure chamber. Uh, it's definitely an ammo problem. Like I said, these are kind of some trash rounds, so you can tell it's just kind of seized in there. So we'll, we'll take a look at it after we get done shooting, but 90% sure that's what it is. Yep, next round went right in, so let's finish off the mag. All right, that's it. So like I said, this is trash ammo. Um, I can even see on the ammo where it's it just probably one that failed to gauge. Like I said, a lot of guns will run them whether they gauge or not, but we don't send them out of the door that way. So, uh, yep, that one's definitely on the ammo. So two out of the bad box that were actually bad. Uh, as far as the gun, it actually run great. So we'll get another mag loaded up in a minute and try it out. But for now, Let's go to uh, our other one, which we have done a little bit of work to. We've got a lot of rounds through it. Uh, we're going to run the staccato bag. 
it does same trash ammo so like I said I'll let you know if it seems to be the ammo or the gun uh, about 600 rounds through this we also paid full price for this one wholesale we've paid for all the parts nothing's been sent nothing's been given to us or anything like that so you're getting a pretty honest review like I said this one did have major issues out of the box so we could not get it to run um, as far as the story goes with that we notified Springfield uh, 10 minutes on the phone they sent us the ship and label we sent it back they had it for about three weeks uh, got it back we run this kind of racked it to get the Cerakote off of it and have had no issues since didn't charge us a dime didn't give us any issues doing that but uh, so far happy with their customer service it seems like the Cerakote seems to be the major issue on these guns unfortunately um, it happens, but as far as the gun, it seems to run fine. But first time I've shot it with the staccato mag. So let's see how it runs with that. And then we'll run some more through both of them to just see how it goes. staccato mag 20 rounder not a single issue uh, just to let you know man once you get these broke in it does seem to run better there's a noticeable difference in this one and that one um, and the only thing that's been done is it's been shot so the other thing I have noticed is both of these guns are shooting slightly left not low left like bad trigger habits and we've had multiple people shoot this one same issue shooting left is it a problem Ah, depends. Uh, you can't adjust the front sight to take care of that. However, this one's going to end up getting a red dot on it, so not a huge issue. It's it's a fun gun. It's not a carry gun. It's a build series we're doing for you guys. It's, this one's going to end up getting completely, everything's going to get swapped out with either Atlas or Staccato or EGW parts by the time we're done with it. But let me get some more mags loaded, and we'll run a couple more mags three to them. Alrighty, got a couple mags loaded back up. Just to show you guys what I'm talking about with these bad ammo. Ah, it might not focus, but if you can see it, the primer on this one's sticking out. So this is kind of stuff we're sorting out even with that. It's not passing a chamber gauge. Everything we make goes through a chamber gauge. Uh, it doesn't gauge, like I said, it's too long, too short. Uh, maybe it's the start of a run that we're, we just toss in a can for us to play with later. You know, we just, like I said, we don't want to send anything out there that we're not 100% about. So, what I do have, got the 20 rounder loaded back up, got the staccato 20 rounder loaded back up. Y'all probably saw me fiddling getting that one in the gun a minute ago. Um, this thing's pretty tight with 20 rounds in it. Uh, it's pretty stiff, and with these 2011s, you don't want to slam the mag in and hit that extractor. It, it can cause damage, so just trying to be easy with it. Uh, it should break in a little bit. So what I'm going to do is, this time I'm going to run the staccato in the new gun, and I will run the factory 20 in the new gun too, because I haven't modified this one to work with the EGW uh, mag well. So as far as the modifications, like I said, once again, maybe you guys can see this. There's kind of like this, I guess a body line or whatever you want to call it right here. Um, what you have to do with this EGW mag well, and they even say it on their site, just take some sandpaper and knock this off just enough to get it to fit. Uh, it literally took some like 800 grit sandpaper and five minutes per mag to get this knocked off where they fit. Um, it's just a base plate, let's be honest. Who cares? They're going to get scratched up and banged up anyway. Uh, uh, once you get that done, it's pretty good to go. So we'll run both of these through this new gun. Uh, I just want to see how many rounds we can get through it with no issues. We had one, but that, that was more of an ammo thing for sure. I expect some of these to do that because they don't gauge. So we're running both through the new one and we'll see how it goes. All right, so this time we did, I'm at the range so I can't point the gun the other way, but maybe you can see it that way. 
failure to extract. Uh, hard to say if that's a gun issue or an ammo issue. Uh, looks like it came out as soon as we dropped the mag. Uh, well, let's keep running and we'll see how it goes from here. Same issue again, failure to, uh, uh, that one's not chambering, so that one definitely seems to be, that's definitely on our ammo on that one, we'll, we'll give that one to the, we'll let the gun have a good day on that one, that one's pretty, pretty oversized, I can see it, so let's keep going. Alright, so we made it through that mag couple issues but like I said trash ammo uh, I'll definitely blame those on the ammo the second one was pretty visible uh, first one yeah give or take you, you decide at home so let's let's run it with a staccato mag see how it goes Same issue we had with the last one. Uh, failure to feed. Yeah, so I'm gonna go with the ammo on this one. Uh, this is some cast we tried loaded. We don't sell them. They they come up the barrel to be honest. So, uh, but we also have some feed issues with them. I can even see it right here on the tip. It it just caught. It's it's just not running good. Uh, the one that happened on that other mag was also one of these. So. Let's get the mag back in and keep going. Yep. All right. So here we go again. Same thing. Uh, that is a copper plated one. We'll hold this one to the side. We'll try it again. It, it looks like it's flared out pretty good. So that one may have been a bad gauge. Right. Let's keep going. We'll try to run out and through again in a second. Now we're just having to say over and over. So, let's see what we got going on. So this one don't look too bad. Let's see, just not sure what we got going on right now. All right, so that one fed. We'll we'll keep going and kind of look at them at the end. So we got another one. Uh, that one's definitely ammo related. That one's jammed in there pretty good. Right, let's see if we can get this thing out. All right, so I got it out. That was 100% ammo. That thing was, it, it went in the chamber. That, that thing was just jammed in there really well so like i said there's a reason we pull those out and don't sell them uh looks like we got about two rounds left uh let's put these other two back in before we keep going see if we can get them to feed this time all right yep fed that time so that's it. there's one here the other one that we had issues with chambered this time so So after that, like I said, this is the staccato mag in this gun this time. Um, maybe it just doesn't like this mag. Uh, the other gun seems to like it. But two of them were, like I said, 100% ammo, like undeniably. Just too big, probably ones that didn't gauge. It was, that second one was jammed in there pretty good. Uh, the other two, with the feed issues, they fed the second time just fine. So that could be a mag issue, gun issue. But, I mean, overall, this, this gun's running very well, much better than the first one. Um, and it's getting smoother as you shoot it. Like I said, the, the one we have done some work to, this guy, it is definitely a lot smoother. And it, it gets noticeably smoother as you shoot it, as any gun should. So, 
we'll keep playing with them and next time I'll give you an update on this guy and hopefully we'll have some more done to this thing so as far as the EGW Magwell I like it it, it fits well it looks good uh, minor modification on the mag is nothing to worry about with the staccato mags you don't have any issue if you have anything over 20 rounds you're not going to have to worry about it it's just the factory 20 and 17 round mags that you have to worry about the base plate so um, happy with it in this gun we'll see if that was the issue with the other gun so stay tuned next time and we'll keep you updated thanks everybody